you find yourself in a difficult situation when you encounter situations when you see that there is a choice more than one and an alternative and an option more than one those are the difficult times because you have to choose between who's and who and you have to pick up those best possibilities and the worst negative impact and the consequences that tag along because anything that is attractive we have to see and dwell into the innermost part and the consequences it can reap the profit and the loss once you have successfully beat those kind of situations and once you succeed in prioritizing your mental growth and inner peace over accumulation of wealth and rather when you say accumulation of wealth it is the right processes of accumulating wealth because when you outwork yourselves and you outsource information from the areas that are going to fill in and bombard your subconscious mind with the negative aura and the negative information those will let you down in various fields of your life then those are not information but those are the misinformations which are channelized through our senses to weaken our nerves to weaken our system to break in every decision that we take in our lives whatever we choose whatever we choose to function and the work every functionality a rational thought process we are not able to give everything a clear thought and we mishandle things and we misread situations we fail at interpreting and we fail at analyzing the deepest introspections and the deepest analysis because it is the deep and the in depth analysis of any situation that can help us take the right kind of decision decision making skill is something that had to do with unlocking and upgrading the subconscious mind because the conscious mind evaluates the information but it is the subconscious which ultimately helps in not just evaluating but rationalizing and prioritizing those information and making the best out of those information so in order to achieve that level of growth we have to prioritize our inner growth our mental growth because it is our mind is that super built computer which is so complex in its nature that if you try to outsmart it it is going to outsmart us and it is going to confuse it in a way that we are going to more and more get engulfed within that deep illusion and we will not be able to make the right decisions in our life so decision making skill is something that we have to need to work on and it is the synergy effect of the spiritual science and the modern psychology and the cognition science because it is the synergy effect we don't focus on the synergy effect that individually it becomes very difficult for a human being because there are two worlds that is the material world and the spiritual world and in order to win over the material world we have to battle the material world we have to battle the illusion and we have to focus on the right ways of accumulating wealth because wealth is just in the form of energy the spiritual world doesn't understand money it doesn't understands luxury and comfort what the spiritual world understands is it is the energy and they have the different code language and the different signals in the form of which the aura functions the frequency functions the frequency is ignited or broken these are the things that is completely guarded by those spirit angels by in the spiritual world by that cosmic energy by that aura regardless of the fact whether you are a believer or non believer uh, atheist irrespective of the faith is there is something that you believe in so you can never be a non believer if you believe in your work if you believe in breathing if you believe in inhaling and exhaling if you believe in anything that comes into this existence then you are a believer so we have to make the best out of spiritual and the cognition sciences now how do we merge it we merge it with the help of meditation we merge it with the help of the science that enables us to function in a way we merge it with the help of those yogic techniques those yogic practices which are ancestors years ago 5000 years ago they have enabled us rather they have empowered us with so much of information on the spiritual and the meditation practices but in order to focus we have to take the help of a guru we have to take the help of what you call the spiritual doctor or rather you make the mind your own guru and you make the mind your spiritual teacher your spiritual mentor there can no no doctor has that power to guide you more than your own mind because the supreme consciousness has designed a mind in a way that if we train and empower and unlock our mind then it 
can unleash its highest potentials and our mind is our best doctor it is our mind that is composed that is designed in a way full of information that it can wash out the negative information that is the nakaratmak urja we call in sanskrit and it is the positive information the positive energy that can channelize in our cells in throughout our body and system that we call the placebo effect the placebo effect is one such proven science with the help of which worst of the diseases are back that once a patient has a self confidence and believe that the medicine is going to work on that person's body then that patient's body then the medicine really begins to work on that patient's body if you tell a patient that this is a plain glass of water and if you tell that patient that this is not just water but this is some magic water or this is some allopathic medicine that is going to heal the patient then we see and science has proven that slowly there are good signs in the health of the patient's body and that is the placebo effect it is nothing but the synergy effect of the spiritual science and the cognition the conscious mind tells that you are not going to fly because your subconscious has been trained from your childhood and the societal standards and the society has told us that we don't have wings and we are not going to fly it is the belief system it is the belief within us whether you are a believer or you're not we are all believers regardless of our faith because we believe on anything and if you believe in anything even if you believe in yourself then you are supplicating that god you are supplicating that supreme consciousness and you are empowered empowering your soul you are empowering the aura within you to turn your belief to turn whatever you think into reality so if you invite demon into your life if you think that you're good for nothing and if you think the things in your life are going to go wrong then you're creating a phantom you're creating a demon and things are going to go wrong because that is the signal that we are sending to the universe this is the law of attraction you can call it manifestation yogic names when 5000 years ago buddhist meditation chinese meditation in hinduism the kind of yogic practices that are ancient gurus and rishi munis have been done they didn't have Have these kind of names such as manifestation, law of attraction. Names can get upgraded ten years down the line. There can be more new names, but it is the age-old ancient spiritual practices and the spiritual science that today the NLP coaches, the neuro linguistic programming coaches are training. They are guiding. They are teaching. They are taking the help of nothing but those ancient spiritual science, the ancient spiritual techniques that our ancestors have taught us. They have helped us. They have menu they have guided us with so much knowledge they have given us the entire medicine system that today we are healing ourselves we are healing our subconscious we are healing our mind we are making the best of everything whatever we us our spiritual ancient teachers have given us we need to just focus on that instead of looking for something new what we have to do is work on the existing things that we have the existing things that we are we have that is the real knowledge that is the gold and if you go out in search of looking for something new there is no end to discovery science is all about discovery you can go on discovering new things there is nothing wrong in it rather it helps in your brain exercise it helps in your mental exercise in helps in enabling our mind empowering our mind but in the process of discovering something new we should not miss out on the ancient knowledge the ancient things that have been gifted to us because it is the vedas the spiritual books of many there are so many religions there are so many spiritual books there are so much our ancestors have given us to read to interpret and to think on there is so much spiritual food for us to think but we get carried away with the social media and go on taking information that are doing no good to us rather if we use the social media to take in the spiritual information within us it can do so much good to us it can improve our brain it can improve our entire cognition but But in order to achieve it, we have to make a conscious choice. We have to make a conscious decision, and that is prioritizing our mental growth over the accumulation of wealth. Prioritizing our inner peace over spending those nine to twelve to twenty-four hours working and overworking and getting exhausted and completely losing out on ourselves because that doesn't convert into money. What we are expecting, what it ends up, we end up with a tired mind, with a weak productivity, with a deteriorated analytic skill, with weak communication skill because you just lose out your sanity because you are overworking and instead of accumulating. 
building wealth instead of working smart what we do is we invest those countless efforts and so much of effort we invest within that particular subject or within that particular project that you're working on just in order to succeed in that particular project we lose out on so many opportunities on so many more important and beneficial projects that are our way because our entire concentration is on just chasing one particular goal and just leaving out and ignoring the possibilities that the universe keeps on sending in the form of message that the supreme consciousness keeps on guiding and sending to us so that we can be able to see so many options and alternatives and make the best choice and pick up the right kind of things if one thing doesn't work then we have to move on and jump to the next but what we do is we go on sulking over a spilled milk we go on sulking over something that has already been done and that cannot be undone these are the nakaratmak urja these are the negative thought process that weakens a system or rather i can say that it strategically weakens a system in a way that so that just that we we are not able to unleash the higher potentials of our mind because the super built computer within us in the form of our mind has its potential to the level that is beyond human imagination because it is not a creation of the human we humans are the creation of that supreme creator who has given the best to us but we are not ready to encash the best we are not ready to focus and work on the rest but rather we invest a time in looking for something in search of something in search of some kind of discovery that will come in our life and change our life overnight some sort of miracle we chase some sort of a dream that we are chasing a dream that is making us run behind it but it is an unachievable dream because we go on running but the human mind is so complex bound by illusion that it makes sure that you keep running all your life and at the end of at the end stage we look back and we found that the dream was always there within us but there was that illusion that made us spent most of our years in running and chasing something that we already have but we didn't choose to look over it we chose to ignore it and this is nothing but the satanic act that is conducted that is guided by that evil energy that we call the negative energy that we call the negative aura let's make a conscious decision to make and best out of and bring out the synergy effect of the spiritual science and the cognition world and empower our minds bread 41 days of life changing course life changing experience no dependency what the slavery bread let's kill those dependencies because at the end of the day it is those dependencies that strategically weaken our system that strategically weakens the ability that we outgrow ourselves it kills our possibilities so we have to kill the dependencies to make the best out of the gift that has been given to us by the supreme consciousness bread life changing course life changing experience no dependency what the slavery bread